The only way to go is electronic voting. But trust our people. They always circumvent everything. And uh, even the electronic voting, until when we've used it for a length of time and we see how efficacious it is, we won't be able to know. <laughs> you don't be surprised that people might say, let's go back to what we used to have. But uh, beyond it all, we need to move on in Nigeria. We need, we need to be accountable. We need to know that no election is worth anybody's blood. And that elections take place regularly in four years. So if you miss it this term, you can take it the next one. There is need to educate our people, to let them know that this thing is not do or die. That if you miss it this time, you can get it the next time. And I believe that is the message for today. Senator Abiodun Olujimi, representing the Ekiti South Senatorial District, had yesterday, the 24th of March 2021, raised a motion during plenary concerning the bloody violence which marred the Ekiti State election on Saturday, 20th of March 2021, where three people were killed and others injured. Senator Olujimi said the election, which started in a peaceful way, was disrupted by hoodlums who came shooting sporadically, snatching ballot boxes from different balloon units. According to the news agency of Nigeria, the Akita State constituency seat became vacant following the death of Mr. Juwa Adigoye, an all progressive party lawmaker of the State House Assembly. While narrating her ordeal, she mentioned how she narrowly escaped death from political thugs who invaded the community to snatch the ballot box and shoot at the policeman guarding the box and seven others. I am Biodun Olujimi. I represent Ekiti South, Senatorial District of Ekiti State. Mr. President, with pain in my heart, I rise to move a motion on the bloody violence that marred the election into the House of Assembly in Ekiti State on Saturday. And everything especially happened at my Ward 7, Unit 7. Mr. President, the Senate notes that the Ekiti East constituency one seat became vacant following the death of Mr. Juwa Adegui of the All Progressives Congress in the State House of Assembly. The Senate notes that the electoral body, INEC, fixed the by-election for last Saturday, 20th March, 2021. The Senate is aware that the exercise, which commenced on a very good note, in a peaceful and orderly manner, was suddenly disrupted at noon when hoodlums invaded the polling centers to snatch ballot boxes. The Senate is aware also that in the process, no fewer than three people were, were killed and many others injured in the Inomuwe Ekiti, Ekiti East local government area of Ekiti State. The Senate also concludes that no election and no election is worth the blood of any Nigerian as democracy is the government of the people by the people and, should be and people should be allowed to make their choices through their votes. The Senate accordingly resolves to, one, observe a minute silence for the dead which includes a female nursing police woman. Two, urge the federal government to ensure the safety of electoral officials, security personnel, and election materials during all elections. Three, urge the Inspector General of Police to order a full-scale investigation into the violence with a view to apprehend and bring to book the perpetrators of this dastardly act and urge the National Assembly to accelerate the passage of the Electoral Act Amendment and also the Electoral Offenses Commission Bill currently before it to forestall all future occurrences. I so submit, Mr. President. The shooting, which is described as unbelievable and appalling, claimed lives of three people, leaving five others injured. Meanwhile, three of the hoodlums who hijacked the boxes have been arrested and arraigned for murder. Three of them were arrested. 
and they have been arranged. He told me they will be arranged for more than they were yesterday. And they have been uh, incarcerated at the uh, prison, the correctional center at Abinkati. However, that is not enough. What is important is that nobody has spoken to us about the guns with which they committed the act. Everybody is silent about it. And the press needs to help us ask what happened to those guns. They couldn't have shot people with, with knives. They must have shot with guns because bullets were removed. And can I tell you that as they were shooting, some of them were picking the bullets. They just did not pick up. As the 2023 elections draw near, Senator Olujemi Father preferred solution for credible and violence-free election. So that nobody can come there and leave. Because I saw him, he just he took a gun in one hand and just was shooting with a gun, was pressing the trigger and just carried the ballot box and ran into the bus they brought. We need to look for maybe a heavy uh container whereby the ballot box will be situated so that nobody can come and snatch it at the and we will only be able to open and take it out whenever we need to do the counting.